we are doing unstuffed peppers. Unstuffed, not stuffed. The stars of the show. Okay, I do not have the best track record with cutting up basically anything. So, here's hoping. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna unstuff some peppers tonight. You ready? Let's go. Hey y'all. Well, we're back in the kitchen. And tonight I am doing something that I haven't done in a very long time. Um, I don't know why because I run out of ideas and then I remember things that I haven't done in forever and I'm like, yeah, why, why haven't I done that? So tonight we are doing unstuffed peppers. Yeah, as in unstuffed, not stuffed. So I used to do stuffed peppers where you cut it out or you, you whatever you do, you take the top off and you take the stuff out and then I would like parboil them so they'd be a little bit soft and then I'd cook all the stuff and then I'd stuff the pepper and then I'd put it in the oven and it was a lot of steps. It was a lot of dishes and it was a lot of time. But one time I realized that maybe I would unstuff the pepper. I would just cut the pepper up and put it in there with the other stuff and cook it that way. So that's what I do now. And I put it in a skillet. So it's a one, one skillet meal. It's a great way to use ground beef and um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna unstuff some peppers tonight. You ready? Let's go. The stars of the show. One pound of ground round. I'm actually using one bell pepper and um, four of these little mini sweet peppers because I really love them. I actually have some fresh parsley so I went outside and plucked that. Um, I'm gonna use half of this big fat onion it's a Vidalia. Do you love Vidalias? I love Vidalias. They're sweet and they're finally in season, so I can find them at the store again. I'm gonna use some minced garlic. I'm gonna use Mexicorn. I love Mexicorn. There's just something about it. It has a different flavor and I love it. You could substitute that for regular corn or you could just not use corn. Yeah, you know, be crazy, wild. Do whatever you want. I'm gonna use two cans of tomato sauce. You could use one big can of tomato sauce. You could use spaghetti sauce. You could use marinara sauce. You can use whatever you have. And guess what? This is what I have. I'm gonna use some musket powder. Surprise, surprise. Um, and then I'm also gonna put in a can of diced tomatoes. If I had Rotel, I would use that, but I don't. So that's what we're going with. And then one and a half cups of rice. Um, this is not instant rice. I, instant rice would probably cook faster. And I'm actually not going to cook the rice ahead of time. This recipe would be a perfect way to use leftover rice. So if you had leftover rice after you get the other stuff cooked, you could throw cold leftover rice in there and let it get hot and it would be done. It would be done faster. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, instant rice would probably cook faster, but this is just regular, this is brown rice because it's all I've got because I can't find my jasmine rice in the grocery store right now. So this is what we're going with. It's going to boil and simmer and um, it might take a little bit longer, but it'll still end up cooked and that's really all that matters. So let's do that. Let's cook. Okay, I do not have the best track record with cutting up meat or vegetables or basically anything. So since I cut my thumb recently, I try to do this a little slower, be a little bit more deliberate and just pay a little more attention to what I'm doing. So here's hoping I don't get an appendage in my supper tonight. <laughs> yeah. That's quite satisfying, isn't it? Pull all that stuff out. So we're gonna cut this up. Um, it doesn't have to be in tiny pieces, but you also don't want huge hunks. So I don't know, like something like that, however big that is. Yeah, that's what we're going for here.
Okay, once everything's cut up, we're gonna put it all together. We're gonna turn the fire on or electricity if that's what you have. And we're gonna let it start browning all together. We're gonna cook it until the meat is brown and the vegetables get tender. Okay. I almost forgot the garlic, y'all. So we're gonna put about three teaspoons of minced garlic. You could use less if you want. You could use more if you want. That's what I'm going with. Uh, I said three teaspoons. Three half teaspoons. Half teaspoons. One half teaspoon is equal to one. Hold on. We got to fix this. One half teaspoon is equal to one clove of garlic, if I could find the words. So I'm using the equivalent of three cloves of garlic. Whew, that was hard. Now, I didn't put anything in my skillet. I didn't put any oil. I didn't put any butter. You could. You sure could. But I typically don't brown my hamburger with anything else. I just don't. Um, is it going to hurt if you do? No, it's not. So, you do you. Do what you want to do. Just so it gets browned. That's what we're going for. It's brown. We don't really want pink ground round. Pink or red steak? Yes. Ground round? No. Not unless it's in an actual hamburger. I mean, that's my rule anyway. Okay, y'all. Um, the meat is brown. The vegetables are getting tender. Do you like that? What is that? Like wax on, wax off? No, let's not do that. Um, okay, so now instead, instead of draining this, I'm not going to drain it. No, I'm not. Because our hamburger is very, very lean, there's not much grease at all. It is mainly water. <laughs> so, um, and at this point, because I'm adding that rice, a little bit of extra water is not going to hurt anything. So, I'm not going to drain it. Feel free to drain it. If you've got really fatty hamburger, you might want to drain it. Yeah. Yeah. But ours is not, so I'm not going to. Okay, carrying on. Now the fun part, we just dump. We dump the tomato sauce. We dump the tomatoes. We hope that we have a big enough pan. We are worried that we do not. Hmm. Yes, Marty, I knew, I knew this was gonna be an issue. This is what I do. I don't use a big enough pan. We've been here before, hadn't we, y'all? Well, I'm sure we'll be here again. All right. We've got this going on. Now we're going to throw in the rice. And it's going to cook. And it's going to soak up all those juices. Just like that. Well, I mean, just like that in a few minutes. All right. Yeah, buddy. Um, okay. I am also going to now do a little dousing. It's my favorite word. Not really, but it works. Okay, we're going to put in some musket powder. My favorite. I'm using the black label. You could use the red. Either one's going to be great. Um, I'm also going to put in my little bit of parsley. If I had fresh fresh. If I had fresh, if I had fresh, fresh basil, I would put that in there. Um, you know what I'm going to do though? I'm going to put some Italian seasoning. I am going to do that. We're going to do that. Hang on while I put you back over here. Just like that. Yeah. Fresh herbs are amazing. But I basically never have fresh herbs. It was a miracle that I had that little bit of parsley. So, anywho, this is what we're doing. 
Okay, we're gonna turn it down, let it simmer. I'm gonna put a lid on it. I do have a lid I can use. And then we're gonna let her cook. And we're gonna have some unstuffed peppers. Woo, look at there, she's steaming up. That's good. And now, while that's simmering, I'm gonna wash dishes, cause I got a sink full. Also, it looks like it's gonna storm. And guess what? We have had 3.2 inches of rain in the last four days. We don't need a storm. But, evidently, this guy didn't get the memo. Okay, we're done. We're all done. Except, I almost forgot, again, cheese. I'm gonna put mozzarella cheese on the top. You could use cheddar. Use whatever you have, doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm just gonna put that on there. Put the lid back on. Let it melt. And there you have it, melted cheese. <laughs> just that easy. I could have put it in the oven, but why? I didn't have to. And it's too hot to be heating up the oven. Anywho, there we go. Unstuffed peppers with cheese. What do you think, Bonnie? Bonnie said, I'm scared of the storm, so I'm staying right next to you. Oops, sorry, I just dropped water on you. And here we go. It's good, y'all. That's good. Alrighty. And it's cheesy. And cheese is never wrong, okay? Just like butter. Anywho, cheers. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And thank you for being here. If you're liking my videos, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Something. Let me know you're here. <laughs> and thank you for being here. All right. I'm going to keep eating because that's what I do best.